Today we're going to be asking two questions. Uh, number one, what is Luminar Neo? And number two, uh, should you even try it? Is it worth your time? So to answer the first question, what is uh, Luminar Neo? Uh, Luminar Neo is a editing software that uses artificial intelligence to make the photo editing process uh, much simpler. I personally have been using Luminar Neo for about uh, two weeks now and I've used it to make uh, thumbnails and I've also used it to improve my workflow. To answer, to answer the question whether it's worth it or not, we're going to be editing some photos that I took over the weekend for a job that I got hired to do. Um, these images are all, I've already uploaded them and I uploaded them uh, when I click on top of an image. Uh, they are all under the, they are all still raw. There are also some pretty big images too. This one right here is 37 uh, megabytes. So I think that this one right here is going to be the one that we're going to go with. We're going to edit this image using Luminar Neo. This software is still uh, very hardware intensive, so be sure to check and review um, what the minimum requirements are for your hardware to run this software nicely. The last thing that you want to do is get this and you not have the computing power or the processing power to handle all of its um, all of its editing and it's uh, the way that the way that it runs it may uh, slow down your machine okay so I have some raw images that came from my R5 uh, I shot them with the 28 to 70 uh, 2.0 and also the 85 uh, millimeter 1.2 for the first image that we're gonna jump into it was taken with uh, the R5 and the 85 millimeter so jumping in here, uh, a, a pro tip for you guys is when you are uh, making these kinds of edits and you, before you start getting into some of the more creative stuff, um, be sure to make your basic adjustments first. For this image, like I said, it is a raw image. I would probably go into the, let me see, develop. Full disclosure, I'm uh, very new at this program. Uh, I encourage you if you are starting with this program or any program for that matter, is to uh, get in there and start messing with the dials going back and forth. Uh, what I like to do is I select a, a specific category and I move the dials all the way to the left or all the way to the right just to see what it is that they're doing. Um, I use Adobe, Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Adobe Photoshop mostly, but what intrigued me about Luminar Neo is that it uses artificial intelligence and uh, content aware to learn what's in the image and uh, it uses artificial intelligence to, to do that. All that artificial intelligence means to me is that it uses a sort of algorithm to learn what's, in its, it, what's, what's actually in the image. And uh, that'll become a little bit more clear once we start uh, messing with some of the more creative dials. But uh, back to the image. So here I can tell that the image is probably a little bit dark. Um, if you zoom into the, let me see if this will do it. So every time I move the dial, you can see that I lose a little bit of the, uh, it blurs a little bit. And actually you can see me in her, in her eyeball here. <laughs> But now that we've got a little bit of the uh, a little bit of the basic corrections right, let's go in to see some of this uh, more um, artificial intelligence and creative stuff. So face light is probably going to light the face. Slim face that's that's pretty interesting. Can make you can make you thinner <laughs> in the face at least. Uh, eyes. So let's see here. We'll probably zoom into the eyes to see what what these do. Okay, so iris visibility. Let's turn this down. Iris flare. It's bringing out the brown in uh, in her eyes here. Let's see if we can kind of don't mind it. Enlarge eyes. Jesus, this is un un unbelievable. Let's see what this does. So this is the original, I guess. And then if you enlarge the eyes, it, it turns her into an alien. 
Yeah, so some of this stuff, you, you gotta be careful with some of this stuff. You don't wanna uh, <laughs> go too crazy with them, unless that's the look that you're going for, right? Uh, it isn't the look that I'm going for. Alien Eyes is not the look that I'm going for. Let's make them just a little bit bigger. Eye whitening, let's see what this does. So it probably makes the 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 whites of her eyes a little bit more more white. Let's back up. Let's see, so that is nothing. And then you bump it up a little bit. Eye enhancer, let's see what that does. So what I like to do again is go all the way to the right with the dial to see what it does and then go all the way to the back so it just brings out the some whiteness in her in her actual looks kind of looks kind of looks kind of cool kind of trippy and we'll leave that at 50% red eye removal dark circles well she has uh, some costume makeup on so we're definitely not going to mess with the the dark circles around her eyes right improve eyebrow let's see what this is it just darkens up her eyebrows. I can probably use some of that. Let's see. So yeah, so look at this. Look at the the what I've what how 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 quickly I've gotten to this point and what it actually looked like originally. So you can tell that the eyes before were um, she has deep brown eyes, and when I enhance them a little bit, it brings out the brownness of it, like as if they were under a spotlight, which is which is kind of neat. You know, it doesn't look too extreme. It goes well with the image. So this is the original image. And this is the, the, uh, with the, how quickly we've been able to, uh, to get them. So there's no mouth shown on this. So we're going to skip it. Maybe I'll do another one, but let's go to skin amount. Let's see what this does. It looks like the skin is being smoothed, smoothened out a little bit. Who, who doesn't like that? Right? Again, I, I wouldn't go past 50 on any of these. Uh, shine removal. I don't really see much shine in this image. And man, I can tell that my computer is working really hard. <laughs> Skin defects, body, high key, super contrast, okay. So the skin looks a little bit more uh, natural. The background looks cool. I love the eyes, how the eyes uh, ended up. Uh, you know, take your time to play with some of these. Let's go to what these presets are over here. Scenery, close up. So I bet that these are all just creative overlays that go on top. Um, oh, here we go, portraits. Experimental. What do you guys think? Uh, monochrome, black and white in essence. Easy portraits. Let's see. Burn film. Yep, Luminar Neo. You can see this, it's thinking. That, that actually looks really, <laughs> that looks really cool. Uh, celebrate, what does this one do? Celebrate this. I don't like this part right here. I do like all this, the whimsical flares and stuff. Let's see, cold frame. Cold frame looks cool. I still am digging uh, the burn film. This looks neat too. Color, color ramp, glow. I gotta tell you that some of, some of these are actually really, really cool. Uh, feather light, I'm pretty impressed. Let's go to burnt film, the first one. I like it because it's the whole image itself is still warm and the burnt film just adds the red over to the side. Now, all of, the, all of these things could probably really be done in Photoshop and uh, Adobe Lightroom. Uh, so you do all the basic adjustments in Adobe Lightroom and then you would take the image into Photoshop and you probably add all of these other elements on top of it. But 
ask yourself how long would it would would it take to do that these uh, on Luminar Neo, these are just one-click, uh, one-click buttons, and, and then go. And uh, without taking too much, uh, too much time into them, I was able to find this image, uh, edit this image, and it looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, I can, I think that the eye thing went away though. So this is just the overlay on top of that. So let's go back to the editing, and that's that. And can I go back to the face iris flare eye enhancer eye whitening improve eyebrows Yeah, all of this is is pretty cool. Is Luminar Neo worth it? I would say for um, for somebody that's just getting started in in photo editing and has a uh, a professional camera, um, it, it is definitely worth considering. Now, that's not to say that uh, cell phone. Uh, photographers aren't going to be able to benefit from a program like this, but anytime that I uh, that I tell people or I try to uh, show some tutorials about editing photographs or editing photos that are taken with a cell phone, you have to remember that cell phones um, don't take images like a full frame uh, camera does. They might get close, but they'll never be able to capture as much detail and as much information in the image like a full frame camera does or a crop sensor camera. There's just a lot of information that's retained on these sensors that a, um, that a cell phone won't be able to do. Uh, and I say all that to say this, is that the image that you edit and the image that you want at the end result can only be as good as the image that you start off with. So if you have an image that was taken with an APS-C sensor, APS-C sensor or a full frame camera, that image is always going to be better than a than any cell phone. Now that's not to say that a cell phone um, can't get pretty close, it definitely can because the new iPhones and the new Samsungs uh, are pretty impressive. Uh, for the past uh, couple of months I've been making videos once a week and I've been uh, uploading. The videos consist of um, product photography tutorials, lens reviews, camera reviews, and uh, basic how-tos on how to monetize and how to turn uh, photography, a hobby, into uh, into cash. If that's the kind of stuff that you uh, like to learn about, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Also, I invite you to uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Vero, and uh, we can link up there. At the moment, I'm taking viewer requests to uh, give me some ideas about some upcoming videos. So if that sounds like you or you're looking for some a little bit more in-depth coverage on some of the topics that I, that I go over, uh, consider sending me a DM on Instagram. I'll put my links down in the description or also tag them right here um, so you can see them. Give me a follow. I'd love to hear from you. The last thing that I want to answer for you guys is whether you should consider trying it is uh, I would say, um, I would say yes, it's definitely worth a try if you're looking to improve your workflow or you're just looking to do some creative stuff without having to learn a massive program like Adobe Photoshop. I would say that this program Luminar Neo is very uh, entry level friendly and very beginner friendly. So if you're just getting into the space and you're looking for something to mess around with, uh, I highly encourage you to try Luminar Neo. I added a, a link down at the bottom. Uh, feel free to, to use it. I encourage you to use it. It's a affiliate link. It's a link that, um, that I may be compensated for, but at no extra cost to you. Also, if you're interested in some of the gear that I use to make these videos or some of the software that I use to help me produce these videos, I've also added links to those at the bottom. Uh, please check them out. Give them a click, give them a look over. 
they are affiliate links. I may be compensated if you use them, but they, are, they come at no extra cost to you. They also help support the channel. If you guys have any questions about Luminar Neo or how I've been using it to make thumbnails or remove backgrounds with a click of a button, uh, don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment down below. I usually respond to, uh, to every comment that I get. Uh, please make sure to ask your questions down in the comments below. And uh, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Adios.